Hey guys, I'm Kelly and I'm here at Imagine Lifestyle Luxury Rental. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited what I, about what I'm about to do right now. Imagine Lifestyle Luxuries is allowing me to do a test drive with you guys as my passengers. The really cool part is I've never driven a Ferrari in my life. So I'll be asking all the dumb questions that any of you guys would ask as well. Being a girl, wearing my heels, and in my comfortable clothes. So let's see how this works out. I won't be crashing today, I can guarantee you guys that. But I'll definitely be making a lot of the mistakes that most first-time Ferrari drivers make. So cross your fingers, buckle up, we're getting in the car and we're heading out. I'll see you guys inside. Alright, so these are the buttons to move seat. I wonder if it goes up. Oh. Alright, this is for the back. Ah, I found it! Okay, so for you short people, this is the button that you're going to move so you can be able to see over the steering wheel. Alright, I think I got it. Let's put on our seatbelts. Get ready to drive. Come on in. Hit the start engine button on the, uh, the steering one? wheel. Yep. Ah! All right. Okay. Now what? All right. Let's so uh, we're gonna go through some of the functionalities. Okay. Okay. Thanks. We're actually in neutral, and the parking brakes up, so we can just take the foot off the brake. Okay. It's off. Okay. So if we want to roll down the windows in the center console, you have the window buttons right there. These two. Yep. If you want to roll down your window, test it out. Nice. Nice. Right. It's pretty hot outside, so I think I'm going to go. Okay. Ah, so, hold on. Okay. Okay, and then right there you have uh, automatic. You see where it says auto? This one? Yup, that's if you do not want to use the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. Or it's for reverse. Oh, okay. okay. So when I would press, when I try to reverse, do I have to break it and then it reverses? Yeah, you would, that? exactly. Auto is automatic, the R is reverse, and the PS is for a parking sensor. So, so, what does that mean? When you back up, if you get close to something, it'll beep. And if you oh. want it off, because you don't want it to beep, you just turn it and hit that button. Okay, that's and then very helpful. And then on the steering wheel, there's different modes that you can drive in. See that little button? Yup, yeah, that little button. Alright, so we're going to put down the top. Okay. See, see, see the button in the center? See that button that says... This one? Yeah, let me get it right there. Yup, to open it. You want to just push it back, yep, and hold it. Hold it. You gotta hold it. There you go. You hold it until it goes all the oh, way down. The windows. And the reason they do that is like a child safety feature. Uh huh. Because God forbid something's in the way when the sunroof's going down. Yeah. You don't want anything to happen. I love this. Should wear my sunglasses. <laughs> there I go. Yep. You're all done. Alright, so now we just have to decide whether we're going to drive the top down or the top up. I think we're going to go with the top up. So you want to, you want to go the exact opposite direction? Alright, alright. And just hold it until everything's back up. Keep going. Perfect. We're good? Yup, now we're ready for our ride, okay? Yay! Awesome. All right, so let's say I want to move the steering wheel. Okay. Like to adjust it. How? It's, it's electric on the left hand side. You'll see it like a little stick that comes out. Reach under, you see, you feel a little stick that comes out. Oh, yeah. Yep, so just move that, it moves in, out, backwards, forwards. Oh, okay. So you can play around. All right. Get yourself comfortable. I'm a little short. All right, and then we're going to stick with comfort, sport. For right now, why don't we put it in comfort? Switch in comfort. Oh, and it changed it over here. Yes, it does. Okay. It always will light up the mode. Yeah, right there. It says comfort. On okay. automatic mode. Yeah. And as you That's see automatic. right there, it says P with an automatic, which means we're ready to go. Okay. So 
All right, so then you were just in park. So what you want to do is you click that one time. Okay. And then that'll put you in first gear. All right, so now it says one and auto underneath. Now it says one and auto. And just hit the gas, you should be ready to go. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I think it's a great idea if we go pick up a burger. <laughs> pick up what? A hamburger. Let's uh, go eat. <laughs> drive through, eat in the car or out of the drive car. Drive through Whoppers. Let's do it. Okay, so all you do is put your foot on the brake and stop at the stop sign. It's pretty easy. So this automatically changes gears on its own because I, I was noticing when, the, when I was driving it had a number two. Correct. So okay. when we're in automatic, it's going to do everything for you. All you do is hit back, gas, and brake. Gas. Right. Brake. Am I going straight? Uh, let's go make a right. Where's your signal? Uh, on the right, on the left hand side. Yep. Okay, just like in any other car. Yep. Drives are so smoothly. Keep going straight. How's it feel? It feels great. It drives so incredibly smooth. Alright, so go ahead, drive. Give it a little gas. Just like you are. All the way? Really? Yeah. Give it gas. Feel it out. Oh, I love it. I love it. I want to take it home. So <laughs> we're going to test out um, the paddles. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. First time driving paddles in a Ferrari. ready. Okay, so I want you to click the auto button. Do I put my foot on the brake? Put yes. Put your foot on the brake. Click the auto button. See the auto disappear? Yep. Okay. So now you are ready to do paddle. So we'll go over. Also known as trip truck. Yes. So we'll, we'll, right now you're in what gear? What did it say? First. Okay. So I want you to hit both paddles together towards you at the same time. What just happened? Neutral. Correct. Okay. So now you're in neutral. You're not in any gear and you're, you can just sit here and relax. And, and if, would I be able to let go of the Well, brake you can also? let go of the brake because we're not on a hill, but you really should stay on the brake. Really, if you want to stop completely and you're not at a red light, like you just want to pull over, you would put the parking brake on, which is on the left-hand side, the button you push on the left. Okay. Okay? But, so right now we're in paddle mode, okay? So really, what you want to do is to start it, you put your foot on the brake, and this is the upshift, and this is the downshift. Up, down. Okay? okay. So have you driven a stick before? Like 10 years ago? Okay. In the hills of Guatemala. Okay. Well, the good thing about the Ferrari, especially our Ferrari, is up here, um, it actually tells you when to shift and up shift and down. Oh, here? Yep. Oh. It actually gives you lights. But I'm going to be the one telling you instead of okay. the lights. Okay? Okay. So it's a little extra feature on this Ferrari California that we have to kind of help people out who haven't driven so much with stick. It helps That's them. It's great. Teaches them how it's to. It's very dummy proof. Yes. So. First. Okay, we'll let that car pass us first because we're going to catch up to him about three seconds. Perfect. So we'll let him go. All right, as fast as you can. Let's do it. You ready? Yep. Seatbelt on? Nope. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Click it. Click it. Click it. Double neutral. This is. Almost better than <laughs> So what do you think about your ride in a Ferrari? I loved it. I can completely see why people are willing to invest, you know, money when they take vacations and they come down and they just want to rent one of these cars. It's so amazing. You feel like you're a completely different person. What was your favorite part? Definitely flooring. Well, I'm getting ready to go. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out with me and I hope I taught you guys a little bit and learned something myself. I'll see you guys later.
powered by a 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Has a seven speed 7G Tronic automatic transmission with manual shiftability. The vehicle does have the panorama sunroof with the automatic dimming glass. 18 inch AMG Sport aluminum wheels. The side view mirrors have LED turn signal repeaters. And up front, you have blacked out xenon high intensity discharge projector beam headlamps and LED turn signals. Alrighty, so inside we have power heated and automatic dimming rear view mirrors, power windows and power door locks. Also have three driver and passenger memory settings. The premium Harman Kardon audio system. And this vehicle does have the air scarf. Automatic headlamp control with fog lamp control. Park brake release. Leather wrap, power tilt and telescoping steering column with audio controls. Alright, pan through the interior just show a little more details. Satin silver trim on the steering wheel. We've also got your trip computer controls as well as audio and Bluetooth controls. This vehicle currently has 2,678 miles on it. Moving down, you have your command system. Vehicle does have navigation. Then moving down, your controls for command, also your CD player, heated seat controls, air scarf controls, stability control. And then moving down, you have controls for the dual climate control. Command controller. In here you have your power top and your four window switch, cup holders, additional storage in your center armrest, you've also got a USB port and auxiliary input jack, and you also have a Apple lightning cable adapter. And overhead, LED reading lights, we also got overhead lighting, sunglasses holder, SOS and emergency services controls, automatic dimming rear view mirror, and underneath it you also have your home link universal garage door opener. You have illuminated vanity mirrors. And folding the side mirrors is easy. Just locate the button in between the mirror selector.
All right, as you can see with the roof in the lowered position, it takes up a considerable portion of the luggage area. However, underneath the divider, there's still a considerable amount of space, enough for a couple overnight bags or so. All right, look at the luggage area. With the roof in its upright and locked position, luggage area is pretty nice and spacious. Underneath your floor mat, you do have your compact spare tire with jack and tools, and you also have a first aid kit. To lower the top, however, you'll want to move this into its locked position. All right, this does conclude our quick walk around look at this 2015 Mercedes Benz SLK 250 Hardtop Roadster. If you have any questions or like,